If I could have everybody's attention here in the media center, we're going to have our first Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series press conference of the 2017 season, and that is going to be with driver Alex Bowman, driver of the number 88 nationwide Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports in tomorrow night's advanced auto parts clash. Now, Alex, last year, 10 starts in, in uh, relief of Dale Earnhardt Jr., we learned that you could drive that car pretty fast. Uh, you you had you know, you know a, a pole, in uh, in Phoenix, four top ten starts, three of those in the top five. What did you learn from those ten starts? Um, honestly, it was kind of just um, gaining a lot of confidence back. Um, you know, I spent a lot of years um, driving different equipment, and uh, you know, you always feel like you can get the job done as a race car driver, but um, you uh, sometimes you kind of get down on yourself and uh, definitely felt like last year I approved to, to myself and everybody else that that I deserve a shot to be here and um, you know at the same time I learned a lot from all my teammates at Hendrick Motorsports and getting to lean on all those guys was uh, so much fun and it, it still is fun um, I'm glad to continue to be a part of the team and to get to lean on a, a seven-time champion and, and, and Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon Chase Elliott Dale Jr. Casey Kane um, there's so many smart people and it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a learning experience and just trying to make the most of every opportunity that I get. Good deal. We're going to open the floor up for questions. If you have questions for Alex, we'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start over here with Alan and then over here to Jordan. Uh, Alan Cavana, Fox Sports. Um, part of the reason you, you got a ride in 88 is uh, due to concussions, and they announced a new protocol today. It just from a driver's perspective, you know, having to go to the infield care center after any wreck, go through the concussion protocol. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, you know, NASCAR does a lot uh, for the sport to uh, to protect the drivers, and, and you know, I think anything that we can do um, to further that is great. And obviously, um, that's a, a area that um, has been talked a lot about for the in the past couple months, and um, I, I think it's an area that everybody's still learning about. And I think the the more stuff we can bring in to help with that, the better. Go next to Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, SB Nation. Alex, this is basically your only race so far announced for this season. Because of that, are you putting a little bit more importance on tomorrow night? Ah, uh, I mean, it's just another race, um, especially being a speedway race. You know, it's nothing. There's there's no one thing I can do to uh, to to do better or worse, really. I mean, I feel like it's so easy to get caught up in somebody else's mess here. So um, hopefully we stay up front, and I think we're starting eighth. So hopefully we get up front, stay up front, and and uh, win the race. But you know, it's uh, it's another race, it's another opportunity to have a lot of fun with Hendrick Motorsports, and that's something I kind of tried to do all all last season was just to uh, to have fun, and that's what we're going to try to do on Saturday night. And hopefully bring home a trophy. Next to Dan. Dan Gelson, Associated Press. Alex, so what are you going to do, you know, in three weeks, four weeks? Go to the track, sit at home, uh, race anywhere else? You done dirt or something? I don't know. What are you gonna do? Um, I don't know. We've been we've been talking about that quite a bit. So, um, you know, throughout the week, I drive the simulator um, about three days a week. So I'm I'm pretty busy with that. And then, anytime the Chevrolet Wheel Force car runs, I'm I'm driving that. So. Uh, like Monday and Tuesday, I'll be in Vegas running that and kind of be all over the place. So, um, and I do have a couple races and in, in, not in the Cup Series, but in some other stuff uh, coming up. And I'm excited about that. Can't really talk uh, talk a whole lot about it, but I will be racing some stuff. Um, so, really, I'll be hanging out at the shop and coming to the racetrack when I can, just trying to be a sponge and learn as much as I can. And the second part is. I mean, has, has they told you if for some reason it, it came up again where a relief driver was needed, you'd, you'd still be number one on the on-deck circle? Uh, I think so. Um, you know, that's something that we haven't really tried to or haven't really talked about, and um, obviously you never hope that situation comes up. But um, I think after last year, and I, I think uh, with as easy as it is for me it, as far as already being here with HMS, I think if something did come up that I, I would think I'd be the one that would get called for it. Right here. This is Zach Dean from the Daytona Beach News Journal. Does it kind of bother you that you don't have anything set for this year, especially after the year that you had last season? Did you expect to have something? Because you had a really good 10 races last year. Did you expect more? Um, yes and no. Um, I was kind of surprised that 
a uh, like a winning Xfinity card didn't open up or something like that. Um, at the same time, you know, I had uh, quite a few full time Cup opportunities um, that that were offered, and there was really just nothing that was um, that was going to make me leave Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, I feel like. I want to be part of a winning organization, whether I'm driving, just working for the team, doing testing, or, or doing the simulation stuff. Whatever I'm doing, I want to be part of a winning team. So, um, you know, nothing was, was going to drag me away from here. And um, so, yes and no. I mean, I, I would have liked to, uh, to be in a, a winning Xfinity car when I can be. But at, at the same time, um, you know, there weren't a lot of cup rides open. So it's, uh, it's kind of a hard year to, uh, to have that happen. Our next is Zach Albert and then Nate. Yep, Zach Albert, NASCAR.com. Alex, uh, when this deal for the Clash was announced, uh, I guess in December, uh, Dale Jr. kind of indicated that, hey, he should drive this. You, he deserves it. Um, do you feel the same way? And what were kind of the conversations that, you know, kind of led to you being in this situation for uh, Saturday night? Yeah, you know, we, we joked about it a lot. I, I never would – it never even crossed my mind that I was going to be driving the 88. Um, you know, we had joked around about, um, I mean, Greg Ives was talking about Greg Ives racing, bringing a car or something crazy like that. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it kind of all, I kind of let it go quiet. I didn't want to step on any toes or ask anybody and, and, um, seem like I was like begging for something or something like that. So, um, I wasn't really asking and we're, uh, I guess it was the Darlington test. We we're kind of all sitting around and. Mr. Ducart goes, so you're going to drive the 88 in the clash. I was like, okay, cool. So um, very thankful for the opportunity. And I think it's, um, you know, Dale's been so great to me. And I wouldn't be here without him. You know, he's, uh, he's the one that, when he wasn't feeling good, pointed me out. So I, I feel like, um, I, feel like I, I owe a lot to him. Um, and I'm very thankful that for him to, uh, to, to put me in the car for this race. Next to Nate. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. I have a question, but first I just want to follow up on, on that real quick. Was it ever, because it wasn't an either-or sort of thing, Alex, with you guys both being eligible, was there consideration given to maybe Dale running another Hendrick car? I don't know. You know, honestly, I wasn't in any of the conversations about it. I mean, there was, there was uh, like I said about the Greg Ives thing, that was just joking up around in the hauler. There wasn't anything. There really weren't any conversations that I was a part of. So, um I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I was just sitting at Darlington when they told me I was going to drive it, so I don't really know. And then uh, my actual question is, uh, this is not unique to you because it happened a couple of times last year, but you're going to be in a situation where you're drive, racing a car tomorrow night where the guy who normally drives it is in the booth, like broadcasting on national television, critiquing you perhaps. So what's that like to have that? Yeah, it's, um, I would say here more than anywhere else, here in Talladega, that adds a lot of pressure. He's such a good speedway racer. Um, and I just, I mean, I feel like I do a good job, but I don't have the experience that he has by any means. So just trying to, to do my best and, and really lean on him for, for advice when I can. But TJ is so good at spotting these races, and, and the race cars that Hendrick Motorsports brings to these speedway races are so good that um, I, feel like, I feel like we can be up front all night. But it definitely adds some pressure to have probably the best speedway racer of our time um, in the booth calling the, calling the race. I hope so. <laughs> we'll finish up here with Jordan. Jordan from SB Nation again. Um, speaking kind of on Nate's question, has Dale given you tips, tricks, what you should be doing in these speedway races? Yeah, and for what sure. Um, yeah, I'd tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, Dale has, has been great to lean on. It. And not just Dale. All my teammates are, are really good at these races. So um, getting to lean on everybody has been really helpful. Obviously, Talladega, we were up front until the end and, and got in a wreck. But... Um, you know, there's not really one thing uh, that I can say is that's huge. It's just how he approaches the races overall and um, how he puts the races together at these places that you can kind of try to, or I can kind of try to take some of that and, and recreate it and, and uh, hopefully stay up front all night on Saturday. Well, Alex, really uh, glad to have you back here at the racetrack, and uh, good luck tomorrow night. Yeah, thanks for your time. Take care.